Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric Williams and I love to fish. Now, not only do I love to fish, but I love to talk about the gear that I use that has made me successful as a fisherman. Now, if you guys are like me, it's very important that you spend your money efficiently. So you're here because you are researching the Shimano Speedmaster 2. Now, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of each. I wanna talk about my experience over the last year with this reel. And I also wanna overlay some fishing footage and kinda of explain what I'm seeing with the reel and if this would be a good application for you. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is durability and finish. Now, it has the name Shimano. So most of you know that Shimano is highly reputable, but what you're looking for is someone that's used the reel for a year. I probably put 50 hours on it and you want my first scene experience. And I'll have to say, now I do wash my reel after every use and keep it in a case, but overall the fit and finish is solid. It's not showing any signs of use, especially for somebody that has put 10 to 15 to 20 trips on this specific reel. The second thing I wanna talk about is longevity of the reel. How is it holding up? Now a little backstory about this reel is I bought it used from a guy who spooled it up with brand new braid and he never fished it. When I bought it, it looked brand new in the box. I had zero signs of use. And I've had it, like I say, a year now, and it's still just as smooth as the day I bought it. Now what's impressive about this reel, and the main reason why I was interested in it, was because of the drag. It has up to 40 pounds of drag, and my goal was to get it for bottom fishing. I am never concerned about, is my reel gonna be able to withstand any fish that I pull up off of the bottom? I've had zero issues with it, and one of the main reasons why I would recommend this reel is just how much of a beast it is. You got one now. Oh yeah. Pulling drag, man. You hear it? Oh, coming up, coming up, coming up. Yeah, snapper, big one. Yeah. One of the larger draws for this reel is its broad range of application. Like I said, I bought it for a bottom rod. I've had zero intention of ever using it for trolling, but this would be an absolute tank of a trolling reel. You can use it for bottom fishing. You can set it up to specifically troll. It has incredible line capacity. And I, f I feel like it is a, a, a really great reel for being able to use for various applications at the same time. The last major pro that I wanna talk about is the fact that this reel is two speed. So for example, if you're bottom fishing, which is my experience with the reel, put it in low gear. I'm targeting big fish on the reef, on the wreck. I put it in low gear. I winch that fish up off the bottom. I get it a third of the way up the water column. I hit a button, I'm back in high gear. Now we're making some progress. That is one of the biggest sellers in this price point is the fact that it is two speed. Dude, as soon as it hit the bottom, as soon as it's a big fish, got a big fish. He's whipping me. Oh, he's whipping me. It's like a grouper. Now I've given you guys a lot of reasons to purchase the Shimano Speedmaster, but I wanna talk about the negatives as well. And let's talk about price. There are other reels in this budget vicinity that would be a cheaper option. Will they hold up as long and as well as the Shimano Speedmaster has? I'm not sure, but I understand a lot of folks can't jump out and spend $300 on the reel and then $50 on braiding it up. That's why I went used. I bought it for $200 and that came with the braid. So I made a really good investment. If you find one that is in great shape on the used market, hands down, best option you can choose. But I understand if you're being a little bit more cautious about jumping out and paying $350, $400 for a reel alone. The second negative that I wanna talk about is this reel is heavy. Now my intentions were to use this as a bottom rod with live and cut bait, but also to be able to switch it up and put a jig on and jig with the, the reel on different spots or when I'm drifting, trying to cover ground. And I quickly learned that this thing will wear you slam out. Now, luckily for anyone interested in getting the Speedmaster, Shimano is actually going to be releasing a size eight and a size 10 
along with the 12 and 16, this being the 16. And I think those are gonna be a lot better option for people that are considering this reel as a jigging reel. The next negative is only going to apply to a certain amount of you, but the learning curve. I did not have experience with a conventional reel, so it's a little strange for me to reel with my right hand. I'm not used to that. I'm used to spinning reels where I reel with my left and hold the rod with my right. Now with that being said, this reel is also very wide. So when you hook a big fish and you have all that tension on your forearm, you're, you feel a little awkward trying to reel with your right and then you get a lot of twist because this reel is so wide. That is one of the biggest things that I've noticed is after I fish eight hours, my forearm will be bruised up from the amount of roll that I'm getting from the reel and the reel handle hitting my forearm. So there you have it, the pros and cons. And final takeaway, if you're interested in this reel, buy it. It has been an absolute workhorse for me. I never worry about if the, the reel is gonna be able to handle what I put in front of it. And I trust it, which is the most important part of going and spending a bunch of money going out in the ocean fishing is you want to be able to trust your gear. Hands down, one of the best reels Shimano has made, especially in that $300 budget. Oh gosh, come on, come on. Oh, this is a nice fish, man. Oh, taking drag. He's whipping me, man. <laughs> Grouper. Nice one. Nice one. That's the one, dude. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Woo! Yeah! Look at that grapefruit, baby! That's yes! One. Dude, look at all the shit he sped up. Look at all the fish. Oh he sped my gosh. Up. Oh my gosh. I gotta get in the water. That's oh my one, god, dude. dude. That's a. Let's go, baby! Cow. Let me get a measure of him. That's. His mouth is full. 28, 28 inches. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, before you guys hit the order button, I want you to do a little bit more research on your own. Read discussion boards. I want you guys to watch as many YouTube videos about the reel as you can find. I want you to drop a comment if you have any questions down below. I'll try to answer them within the next day or two. And also, if you guys like other fishing videos, I try to put them out as much as I can and bring you guys along the journey. I'd love to have y'all subscribe. Either way, I appreciate you guys. Good luck if you buy the reel, and I'll catch y'all next time.